Hello, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to do a video on that weight back there. It's going to be a weight hitch, well, changeable hitches, and that weight there that we can remove fairly decent quickly. You know, it's nice to have that weight when you're doing loader work on a compact tractor. And I'm not, it's really not about the tractor, this tractor, but any compact tractor with a three-point hitch. So, use the receiver. Just bought that at any store. And you can get them at Walmart, too. This part right here. You'll see it when I take it apart. But, yeah, we can just pull the pins out <sighs> pull this one out and this one I put in when I need to pull like a wagon that doesn't have really a hitch or anything I can put it in this way put it in this way and then this is my barbecue hitch from a past video, uh, Hillbilly Touched Barbecue. I have to use this one because it drops down a little bit to get underneath that barbecue. But yeah, it's just mounted on a three point. And we made this weight. This, this is really, gets really light in the back when we're doing heavy loader work, you know, like moving topsoil or something or gravel to get in places that it's hard to get so but either way to get this weight off pull that out and then we lower it down a little bit and we pull the top pin And then we just take and take the bolts off. Washers. Figures this one won't come out, but There you go. It's out. We just put that together, so we gotta paint this here real quick. So I'm gonna lift it up and paint that. And Sometimes I gotta start.
Yeah, so this here weight is six by six by quarter and it's a little over 2.4 foot 20 inches or 24 inches long okay we made it that long it was shorter but we put the ends on it got wider kind of wanted to keep it in between the lights here leave the tail lights open you know not that you really need to you want to make it wider make it wider but that's over that's over 100 pounds it's over 125 pounds if you did the same thing with say coolant put plugs in it you'd probably be just under 100 pounds but we got it packed with sand and used motor oil then we welded the caps on it and everything put them screws and bolts through and welded them bolts in there <coughs> and you could just use pins but we don't like it bouncing around with just being loose. We wanted it tight. So, I mean, you got an impact. It's not hard to change out or take off. So we we'll just uh, did it that way instead. But it's real nice to have when you got the weight on there and you're doing loader work. You know, and most of the time we just leave it on when we're mowing and stuff. This tractor here... Uh, when you put down a mower deck, you have to lift it up a little bit. Before the, mo the mower deck moves, it will still lift up the three point just a little bit so it doesn't drag the ground, you know, going up hills or down hills or whatever. But other than that, this works out really well. And let me put this back on. The only problem is, is like when you unhook it and you pull that back up, it pushes the weight back. So when you go to hook it back up, you have to pull it down and you have to move the weight back forward but other than that it's not too bad that weight's heavy enough it's hard to roll it's hard to kick around but it's not too bad but i figured this was kind of a neat video to put together for you to if you want if you need weight in the back or you need a quick hitch you don't have to do the weight just do the quick hitch part and like i said you can put whatever you want in there four way three way or just one that has the opening and one with a certain ball on it that you need for whatever trailer you got. You know, I picked up my cargo trailer with it, moved it out of the way, mowed, picked it back up, pull it back in. Cargo trailer ain't light either. The, congo, uh, the uh, compact tractor moves it fine. And I got a 12 foot trailer I move. Move that wagon easy enough with it too. Moves that screener with that hitch. And there's a cargo trailer. It moves that. You know. Won't move the gooseneck. Of course I haven't tried that yet. But I'm not gonna. But yeah. So. You know. Just to put the weight back on it. It's not hard to do. Let me show you.
There you go. Just as easy to take it off as to put it on. Kind of. Nice to have help. But you can do it by yourself. So, it's a nice little hitch set up. You just go by the metal. Or you have metal laying out. You can do it with a used a round tube. You can do it with square tubing. You can just box in some flat metal or plate. Fill it with concrete. You know, or box it and put put blocks on it or something, you know, or pavers or whatever. But yeah. She works for us. That's it. See what I mean about the lights? It was up higher. It, it blocked the lights a little bit, but not like you really have to have the lights showing. Just driving around your yard mowing and stuff. But I take it down the road a little bit here and there once in a while, down to the neighbors or something. So, all right. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.